so we are now out on another repo up here in Salt Lake. Uh, we've been looking for this vehicle for a while. The kid doesn't live at the address we have anymore, but we talked to some family members there and they said that he was still working at this large uh, plant up in Salt Lake that makes uh, detergent. And we've been out to the plant and they've got probably a square mile of warehouses out there. There's, you know, from warehouse one all the way up to like warehouse 16 and just thousands of cars. And I've tried cruising around the area looking for our vehicle and I've never seen it. And so I went into the security office and they said, you know, we don't allow people to repossess off of our premises, blah, 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 blah. I said, well, can you at least call the guy and let him know that we're here? And the security guy got on the radio and he called out for the pallet manager at warehouse eight, you know, and so I really knew he wasn't gonna be able to get a hold of the guy pretty much. I mean, you, you know, he, he gave it a half earnest effort. Uh, but what I needed was that it gave me the uh, area he works in and the warehouse he works in so after he told me well We can't get all of them. Nobody's answering. I said thanks. Have a good day. I acted like I was gonna leave Go out my truck uh, Drove around till I found warehouse 8 and then went in the doors uh, Just walked up to the first person I saw I said hey, where's the pallet manager? They said oh over there. And I went over there and I you know this office was empty but there was a, a break room with people coming in out of it and I asked this guy coming out I said hey, you know where so-and-so is and he says oh yeah it's that guy right there and he pointed him out to me and I walked up to him and he I told him what I was there for and he says well the vehicle's not here it's at my house and he said you know he just volunteered to have me follow him to his house uh, I, I as we pulled out of the parking lot I ran the plate of the vehicle he's driving and it comes back registered to him and it's got a new address and we put the address into the mapping system here just in case we lose him or he has a change of heart or whatever this is actually him right here in front of us in this gold Ford Taurus um, so we're just gonna follow him and I'm, I'm pretty certain it looks like we're heading pretty much straight for the address that the vehicle he's driving is registered to so uh, it looks like he's gonna go ahead and give us the keys and volunteer it to us uh, I couldn't imagine he's gonna have us follow us out to his house otherwise just to say screw off I mean I've had it happen before but this guy's being pretty cool so a little bit of uh, you know smart ingenuity there that I can guarantee you most asset recovery companies, uh, you know, their drivers would have driven out, would have gone by the house, car wouldn't have been there, and they would have parked it as a bad address and gone on to the next one, or they would have spent two or three more weeks going by the same address, and this is the way to really get to your vehicle as quick as possible. Uh, you find the person, and you talk with them, and, and more often than not, you find out why the vehicle's not at their work, why it's not at their home. You know, it's in a shop, it's in a body, shop it's been towed it's uh my brother's borrowing it right now i've heard a thousand different things that uh basically dictate you would have never found the vehicle at their house so this is the fast way to uh saving time man hours uh fuel money i mean it all adds up so and you never know when you're going to walk up to somebody at their work and they're going to go follow me to the house so we'll be there in a minute and we'll hook it all right cool so he unloaded all their stuff Took their plates off and uh, gave us the keys. It's a really nice looking vehicle. It's actually a station wagon, which is not what I was picturing. But we got it loaded on the back and we're just gonna head over to uh, the auction and drop it off there. It's pretty straightforward.